Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have to talk about everything that went down yesterday on FIFA Ultimate Team with the Usman Dembele SBC Summer Heat vote winner uh, and the SBC that he did get himself on Saturday in FIFA Ultimate Team. Talk about what that did to the market because a lot of these cards and a lot of the market is crashing because EA are making people shell over around a million coins. To get this Usman Dembele card, which it seems like in the past two days, this Summer Heat promo has gone from exceptionally good value for like all of the SBCs we've gotten. Have just, it's just been good value after good value after good value. And now we're starting to get some stuff that's been a little bit more expensive compared to what that stuff has been. And some people are not super happy about it. They're just a bit disappointed based on what we've had so far um, and now what we are getting. But regardless, this SBC that came out today was the, I probably, I would I would be so inclined to say one of the most desired special cards that we have seen this year in FIFA Ultimate Team, um, the five-star five-star five star Usman Dembele with the juiced up statistics. It is a cracked out looking card with whatever chem style you do choose to put on him. I mean, he's almost got perfect agility and balance. He's got great finishing. I think you could play this guy on the wing, in the middle, and of course, with all the French cards that have come out already this year and during Summer Heat in general, this is just going to slot into so many people's teams. So this is awesome for FIFA. I'm glad we got this Usman card, and I'm really curious to see what comes next over the next few days. But at least today, I am still want to talk about the weekly sell-off and the, the prices on this market that are probably going to continue to go down, especially in a couple certain areas of cards that actually went up today after the Usman Dembele SBC. Um, and so we'll talk about the market impact of this as well. But again, over on Footbin, just to dive into what this SBC is a little bit more, 1 million coins is the, the price of this SBC at the moment. Uh, he was under a million coins earlier today, but fodder is progressively rising up as people are doing this SBC. They're doing the Ribery SBC and fodder is just getting more expensive because there's not a lot of packs that are being opened. We do have some upgrade packs out. Uh, but uh, fodder is rising pretty nicely. So for this SBC, you do get some okay packs back, but it's five different sections. I think it's 84, 85, 86, and then two 88 rated squads. So I said in yesterday's video, they might put in two 88 rated squads, which is what they did end up doing for Usman. And that pushed up a lot of this higher rated fodder today. Um, I'm pretty sure we were looking at Ter Stegen yesterday at 46,000 coins. Now he's 55K. That's an out of packs uh, gold card because he's his team of the week moments is in packs right now. Hazard was like 50K yesterday, I think. Now he's 64. So a lot of this stuff did rise. If you bought fodder, you're looking good. You made a lot of coins today, especially in the 84 side of things, especially some of these 84s. Ozil was like 5K flat. Moutinho, who's 7K right now. I have some on my transfer list that I bought at 5.5K yesterday or two days ago. He was even lower than that before the SBC came out today. So if you did buy fodder, you are up. I would cash out on that fodder in my opinion. Uh, I feel like we may have reached kind of like a peak in terms of content on Summer Heat for the next couple of days um, in terms of stuff that is going to be requiring you to turn in high rated fodder in this game. We come off of a Ribery and an Usman Dembele SBC, two of the most hyped up players that we could receive SBCs for during this promo. Um, and a lot of people are, are doing these SBCs, so fodder is pretty high. And we don't really have a, have a lot of supply for those cards on the market. The, the SBC fodder, we're not getting supplied that much. And that's one thing I want to talk about today as well. In yesterday's video, we pulled up some pack code from Footwatch, uh, which I will pull up again. Because if you guys did not see this in yesterday's video, uh, this is a very, very interesting pack code. And I want to talk about this quick because if you have not, not, not done Usman Dembele yet, which I have not, or Ribery, and you're maybe waiting on whatever, or you just haven't done it yet, I would continue to wait. Because if these SBCs come out, uh, 85 to 92 rated rare player pack guarantees a player from 85 to 92, guarantees two rare gold players rated 84 or higher, depending on how expensive they make this SBC... It might be very, very easy to craft some of these high-level SBCs that are now coming out. And this is why I think EA is starting to price these SBCs higher that they're putting out. is because they're going to make it grindable from a lower level and craftable, I guess you could say. So I don't know when these are going to be released. Uh, and I showed you guys in the video yesterday about these. I was very curious. If they, they did not come today, which is the perfect storm for EA Sports, right? This is the perfect scenario 
that EA is always thinking this way on the game. They want to rinse people of their coins, right? They want to rinse people of their coins, then keep putting on, out content that makes them have to have more coins to partake in that content. And either they just don't partake in the content or they buy FIFA points. Because I think pretty much every day they're putting, uh, they're still putting packs in the store and people are still at home. You know, uh, the COVID cases are still uh, an issue in a lot of places. So people are probably sp still spending some money on this game because it's their entertainment while they are home. And EA is trying to still make money off of this game by selling FIFA points, by sucking coins out of people's clubs, by requiring um, all this stuff and putting out great SBC player after great SBC player. And then just a lot of content on top of that. So I think what EA did was a strategic move by putting out this Usman Dembele SBC before releasing those upgrade pack SBCs, because what happens is you have to go sell cards in the market. You have to go, you know, uh, spend coins in order to buy SBC fodder to complete that SBC. And then all of a sudden you're kind of out of coins when, you know, maybe the next day or two, we do end up getting that, uh, that SBC with, with the upgrade packs where you might be able to quote unquote craft those, uh, the Usman or the, Dembele SBCs for cheaper. So if you have not done those SBCs yet, if you've not done the Summer Heat Usman or you have not done the Summer Heat uh, Ribery, I would honestly wait because when those upgrades come out, depending on how much they are costing, the, the, of course, the 85 to 92 and the 284 plus and the five rare gold 88 or higher, which may be a Twitch Prime pack. So we'll talk about that. But that's going to cause a possible more, a drop in SBC cards, a drop in that high rated fodder. So that's one thing I did want to mention. Um, I think, I don't know if Ribery has a time frame because I've already completed him, but Dembele uh, is non, it doesn't expire. So Dembele is here for a while till the end of the game. Basically, he's under the players tab. Um, and of course, the 81 plus and the 82 to 88 SBCs do expire. Now, these are very, very cheap to do. And I hope EA re-up these because you can actually do Usman Dembele and start to chip away at that if you do the 82 to 88 upgrade which is my opinion in my opinion is a way better value than the 81 double plus um just because you get consistent 83s 84s um which then if you hit an 88 or an 80 you know 87 or 88 from this SBC then boom all of a sudden you have an 84 85 or 86 maybe rated squad done for Usman Dembele so I think it's pretty grindable in that in that way um, but so that's the whole SBC. That's kind of the situation with the SBC fodder. I guess if you have fodder, I would honestly consider cashing out because I don't know what other stuff they're going to release. Why well, about these at 6k and this guy's what eight or 7,900, I think is what Flippin told me. Um, this guy is yeah 7900 coins so i'm you know i actually bought a few i bought a few fodder cards boys you should be proud of the foot account i bought fodder i invested in fodder i'd like never do this because i don't really enjoy trading with fodder but i did uh so i'll cash out on a few of those anyways but um i would cash out on your fodder honestly because i just don't know what other sbcs could be coming out in the next day or so that would push fodder up even higher i guess so um i feel like a lot of that usman hype especially if they release those upgrades which could decrease the fodder prices. You just take the cash in your fodder now while it's up and you go from there. But for the rest of the market, we saw prices crashing today, literally everywhere. I want to talk about the St. Maxman card because he went on a wild, a wild ride today in terms of price. Um, wow. Rio Ferdinand has bounced back up very nicely from where he was early today. Dalglish was down at a million coins. He is now back up like 40k ish. So a lot of this stuff is even recovered. That's an undercut 1.02. Um, yeah, a lot of the stuff has actually recovered from where it was earlier in the point today for weekend league sell off. Uh, because a lot of these meta cards, people bought back to finish their weekend league, or they sold cards to go to Usman, and then they bought those cards back. And that's the big thing that I want to look at today with Saint Maximin and even some of these other cards in the market, I'll show you the bounce backs that we had today. But this is why I had St. Maximin um, on the thumbnail even, because this dude today, when he did not win the SBC vote, this guy was 750,000 coins all morning, 750 to 780 all morning, or you know 580 to 600 on the Xbox before the SBC came out. And on both consoles, he went up almost 300,000 coins. It shows 935 here on the PlayStation. I, as you saw in my transfer targets, there was St. Maximin selling over 1. Uh, over 1.05 million coins. This guy went up over 300,000 coins, almost 400K technically. Um, 
on the market today. Crazy, crazy market rise when he did not win the SBC. That just shows me that this card just carries so much weight in this game. Um, but the big, the big issue I have with this is this card's still in packs for another two weeks. So a lot of people that bought those cards back, back today when he did not win the SBC, they're going to end up losing money in the long term because this guy's probably going to drop down. I wouldn't say he's back down in the 760s during weekend league sell off, but I could easily see him, you know, he's 890 right now. I would easily see this card down another 50 to 60,000 coins, maybe just tomorrow, uh, after the weekend league sell off or today, Sunday with the weekend league sell off in full effect cards like Mbappe today as well. Again, this is, this is what I talked about yesterday happening and it came to fruition today. People sold off a lot of cards today just to be able to go forward that SBC Us or, uh, Mbappe was 4.75 million this morning, rebounded back to almost 5.2, 5.2 mil. And now he's back, uh, still above 5 million actually. So some of these cards, if you still have them, I would say take your opportunity here. If it's a very meta foot birthday card and get it out, because if you learned anything from the shapeshifter cards, these guys are just going to keep dropping and keep dropping throughout the end of the year. They could rebound a little bit at some points. They could spike with a weekend league rewards, maybe that Mbappe especially, but at least for this weekend, I would honestly cash them out. We saw a lot of market movements on team of the season cards as well. Um, a lot of panic selling. And, and this is the one thing I want to talk about today with panic selling on a Sunday. A lot of these tots cards have been on their lowest on Sundays, right? This Lala is a guy that I watch, watch fluctuate every week. I know we have the Mbabu objective, but there's so many French players in this game right now. I still think this guy's going to have meta demand and a very high amount of value uh, corresponded to him. He was 450 again, panic selling every single day when a new SBC comes out back up to 500k. If you see this guy in like the 450s again, maybe the 440s on PlayStation and like 420s, maybe low 400s on Xbox today on Sunday, if he drops off, you know, 40 to 50,000 coins, I would highly suggest snagging this card because we just got a right back objective, which would make me think that there's less of a chance we would get a right back SBC later this week. So the right back cards are still inflated, right? I like Carvajal. I like, honestly, um, uh, who was Quadrado. Carvajal, Quadrado, and Lala are kind of my favorites for cards that could be a buy today. Um, stuff that is just still really meta, right? Like some of these French cards, Awar is up today for the links that he provides. You know, he was 220 on, on Wednesday. He was like still maintaining a very high price today. Neymar is down a lot. We looked at him in yesterday's video. Um, 4.9 million coins after he was 5.6 mil this weekend. Crazy that a Ribery Shapeshifter and a Usman Dembele Summer Heat card cards together could crash a price that much. But of course, right now, there's just so much uh, tension and hype around La Liga and around the French links. So I would watch a lot of these La Liga cards if they get sold off today. A guy like Fakir Suarez, De Young, Carvajal, even Benzema, um, even Ter Stegen, honestly. Just watch some of these cards on the weekend league sell-off on a Sunday because I think there could be a rebound later into the week this week. If anything has shown me in this game right now, if, if there's anything that I've learned from today, there is still hype for this game. There are still people playing this Summer Heat promo. I bought Ben Yedder yesterday at 390,000 coins, and now it looks like he's up to four... 440, 450. So I'm probably going to try to cash out on my Ben Yedders uh, at like 450K. I kind of talked about this on the live stream uh, yesterday. I was like, hey, this guy's 390 to 400,000. 400, uh, there's not a lot of French right wings. I like this as an investment. It actually did end up doing well, but I would cash out, right? If there was stuff that went up with the SBC, uh, with Usman today, if there was stuff that went up today or on Saturday with this SBC coming out, link investments or whatever, Stuff that went up, if it comes back down today on Sunday, that is something I would say is a very safe bet to buy um, this week. The only thing that I could see making prices go down even further is those upgrades being released and those upgrades containing very easy requirements that people can craft and do prime icons and do other SBCs because if people can start crafting at a very cheap rate and they can pack 85 to 92 rated players and only have to turn in like an an 81 rated squad or an 82 rated squad. I think 82s right now uh, are 82s are a thousand coins. So they're up a little bit, not much. Um, so that's not really an investment in my opinion. 
82 rated cards. I mean, they could go to 2,000 coins for some of them, but a lot of them are already like 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5. So maybe with squad battle rewards late tonight, you look at some 82 rated cards and stock the club if those upgrade SBCs have not come out. But that's my biggest like uh, fear or this the biggest impending factor to this market that could change some things and change some prices this week. But I think a lot of people are locked in now because they got their Usman Dembele SBC. Yes, there's going to be more stuff that comes out, more cool players, I would assume, for Summer Heat. Um, but I would expect prices to do kind of well into the early week if we don't get any more big-time content um, this week, or at least on Sunday or on Monday on FIFA Ultimate Team. So icons, if you're seeing low prices um, and they're meta and very usable cards, I'm a fan of those. Um, of course, stuff that is out of packs, you have to be careful with, especially if it's a shapeshifter card. Um, you have to be careful with that because these foot birthdays are kind of, um, you know, it's, it's just like the whole scenario and situation where team of the season cards came onto the market very cheap. And that just kind of pushed the whole market down itself. We have a, a similar scenario happening here with all these old past special cards are coming back into packs, getting supply. And these very meta foot birthday cards are used by a lot of people and they're getting cheaper, which is kind of squashing the market in all other areas as well, because this card's getting cheaper. People will go sell this card to go buy the foot birthday version or whatever, because it's just getting cheaper and it's just kind of lowering the whole market as a whole. Uh, so just be very careful with cards that are in packs. Again, I would recommend selling foot birthdays, road to the finals, anything that is now in packs with batch two, um, future stars as well. I would consider selling those sooner rather than later because they're probably just going to continue to drop uh, through the weekend and, and while they are in packs as well. But if you're still finishing your weekend league, GLs, I'm five and two, I think at the moment. I got to grind out some more games, but it's been a decently fun weekend league um, with these new cards. It's fun to try out a different team, that's for sure, using Ibra, Ericsson, and uh, my boy at Ribéry. I'm kind of messing around with the right side over here because I wasn't liking Kubo. Kubo for me, man, he can't finish anything, bro. This dude cannot shoot. He can't shoot for me. I don't know what it is. He has 99 finishing, but I feel like that finishing is like 50 or something. I don't know. I just need to try him out. He's been decent as a super sub, but as a starter for me, he just doesn't cut it. I know it's going to upset some of you guys, but that's just how he's working out for me. So that's kind of how I feel about the market. I feel kind of good about stuff maybe rising into the week, but especially today, more sell-off happening across the market. Look for some link investments, right? Bundesliga center backs, uh, English link-ups because of the Pope uh, objective. And of course, all of the French, La Liga, and Brazilian links that you can do because that's still the main point in FIFA. And that's a lot of the cards that people are using in this game at this time. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account. Catch you guys later. Peace out.